Hello ladies and gentlemen, today is January 31st, 2012, and it is another big day of video game releases. Um, I only bought two out of like the three or four I think that come out today, I really don't remember the other. I think another one was Never Dead, but I wasn't really looking forward to that one anyway. Um, Soul Calibur V, as you know I'm a big fighting game guy, and Final Fantasy 13 2 which I am also a Final Fantasy kind of guy. I'm just that kind of gamer. So, let's go ahead and pop these open. These are both the collector's editions, by the way. Um, they both go for, I think it was $79.99 each, so 80 bucks, which is pretty good, $20 actually. Let's see what's inside, though. So this is the Soul Calibur V. Looks like a book. Obviously, I got it for PS3. As you can see on the back, two swords, two generations, one destiny. The reason it says that is because it takes place 17 years in the future of the original. Um, online play, yada yada, dual shock, headset. A new dawn rises in the internal fight between the mighty soul swords. And there's Ezio Auditore, who is the guest character. Um, and he's fighting Mitsurugi right there, as you can see, or maybe a descendant of Mitsurugi, I don't know. He might be 17 years older, who knows? But anyway, enough of that nonsense, let's pop it open. So that is the cover, actually. So as you can see, it's hollow inside, nothing inside. Mm, excuse me, I'm burping. Um, so here's the Soul Calibur V. It's kind of like a fake, like book case, as you can see. See, it's kind of a whole, like a, it's, it's you know, it's not pages. It's just fake, but it's still pretty cool. So you open it up. What do you got? First thing you see is the what is this? This is the the making of Soul Calibur V. So it has a lot of behind the scenes stuff, how it got made, um, talking about some. <clears throat> Just like uh, why it takes place in the future. I actually watched a little bit. Um, Namco had put one of the particular videos up on YouTube. I checked that out. It's pretty cool. Talks about the history and why the producer decided to do 17 years in the future, etc. And we got here is the Soul Calibur V art book. As you can see, there's some pictures. You got uh, Tira and Voldo. You got Hilde and Hilde. I can never pronounce it. Hilde. 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 Maxi. And she was the broken one in four, if I remember correctly. And you got the new character. Pier God damn it, these names. <laughs> How do I what is these names? Okay, Zway. Zway, is that the name? Can you guys read that Zway? I guess it's Zway. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay. There's a uh, Natsu, that's a little bit easier. Natsu. That's Taki's like protege. Since it all takes 17 years in the future. So that's cool. So they have their in-game 3D artwork, and the next page has their sprite, or not sprite, their uh, artwork, concept artwork, which is pretty cool. And of course, Alexia, that's Sheng Hua's daughter. Mitsurugi, also it is still the same Mitsurugi. And of course, Ezio's in here somewhere, I'm sure. Where are you, Ezio Auditore? You're the main attraction for me. I'm going to be using him, hopefully, if he's good. Oh yeah, this guy was in the uh, PSP version that also had, oops, that also had, um, Kratos in it, if I remember correctly. Looks like a douche. There's Ezio. That's pretty cool. Then on this side, you got the limited edition soundtrack. And it has a, a full 17 track list spanning from Soul Calibur 5 all the way down to Soul Edge, which is actually the first game. If you want to be honest, or if you want to be real about it, the first game in the series is technically Soul Edge, so this would make this Soul Calibur 6. But it's because they want Soul Edge, then Soul Calibur, then Soul Calibur 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that is the art book slash um, soundtrack CD. And then also you go back inside and you see this is the game. And I already checked, but there is a pass for some bonus content in here that I'm not about to take out. But it's just uh, DLC costumes for your customizing character and the customized character mode. So you can, um, it's a white knight and dark knight costume to kind of make you look Kind of like Nightmare, but not quite like Nightmare, I guess. Anyway, here you go. Nothing too special about this. You got the disc. Looks pretty good. You got Soul Calibur and Soul Edge on each side. Then you have here, you got Nightmare and the new guy, which I could not pronounce his name, and Ezio on the back as the guest character. So that is the collector's edition for Soul Calibur V. Pretty cool. Pretty worth the money, I think. Considering you get a nice, you got a soundtrack and a behind-the-scenes DVD, that's pretty impressive for uh, $79.99. Moving on, you got the Final Fantasy 13 2, which is the direct sequel to Final Fantasy 13, meaning that it involves all the same, well, most of the same characters, same cast of characters, etc. Um, like most Square Enix boxes, there's absolutely nothing on the front. 
in terms of Final Fantasy stuff. It's just the logo as usual with characters. Not too much here either. That's very typical Square Enix. You'll notice that a lot of their games is just like, or Final Fantasy games, I should say. It's like just pictures in the front, and that's it. Look, see, a Square Enix got kind of this nice, uh, nice feel to the the box here. So they got the collector's edition there. Here's the one side. That's one one of the new characters, I assume. And then there's lightning on the front. I know that's lightning. You have Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy 13 2 Collector's Edition. Let's go and pop it open. Whoops. Okay, so wow, this is interesting. So first, what we got here is we have the game right there. Is this the game? That is the game. So much like Batman Arkham City, there is no actual um, jewel case. This is the case. So you got that. This is the instruction manual. Full color. Get that out of the way. This is, this may be a DLC thing and I will take it out. It is, ah, it is Square Enix members um, bonus points thing. You know, it's similar to Club Nintendo and all that stuff. You add points. Soundtrack listing. Ah, this is cool. So this, there is four discs to the soundtrack. To the whole game. Which is pretty amazing and I think 13 only had two discs, or two, no, yeah, I think it was two discs, two discs. And so then they also have here is a small concept artwork. Just a couple pages, nothing too big here. Concept weapons, and then you have four discs of the soundtrack. So you got, where is it? Here's disc one, two, three, and four, and they all have different characters from the game in there. So you got Sarah on here, and I can't see, it's probably that new guy, what's his name, Noel, or Noel. Right there, there he is. You got lightning on here, and I don't know who this is. This must be the villain. Looks like a badass. An emo badass. Yeah, look look at his emo purple hair. Totally menacing, right? So that is the Final Fantasy 13 2 Collector's Edition. Also for $79.99, I believe, was the price. Half the time, I don't know. I just buy the games I like. But I'm pretty sure this one was also $79.99. So, let's see if it folds in like this, I think. That, there we go. Oh no, just kidding. Totally folded that one. So that is the two collector's editions for today. So I'm put this thing. Oh, that's because it goes on here first. Derp. So there we go, you guys. That's the two uh, collector's editions for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick little unboxing video. Um, I'm going to try out both of these games and we'll see how they go. Um, I'm really excited to try out, especially Soul Calibur 5 because. You know, I liked 4, but it just didn't catch on. There wasn't really a tournament scene, so I'm hoping 5 will have more of a following. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.